Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. Welcome to Throwback Thursday. This is a little weekly series that I do here on my YouTube channel where I dig back into my stash of older papers, dyes, products, techniques, and we build something beautiful together. All this year in 2023, we've been doing a banner of the month. This was by request. So I dug into my stash of Graphic 45 Time to Flourish, and we've been making a Time to Flourish banner each month, and it's time to do July. So you're gonna to need to reach in to your stash and get your eight by eight Time to Flourish, both the cut aparts and the flourish papers, and the 12 by 12 cut aparts and flourish papers. And then the first thing you're going to do, these are Graphic 45 square tags, and I have three of these in ivory, and I've used the square tag die to cut a cardstock liner for each die out of a sort of a smoky blue color. Then I used my cutting tool and I just trimmed out four and an eighth by three and seven eighth inch panels of the reverse side from the flourish paper. And I cropped the corners with my corner rounder and stitched those onto the tags. Then I took the tags and using binder clips, I spaced them out on this inch and a half wide red plaid ribbon. And then along the top, I put this vintage lace and I stitched that on my sewing machine. So I went along the top edge and then I came back and along the bottom edge of the ribbon. And you can see the stitching a little bit on the ribbon, but really on the tags, you can't see it at all. These are the ATC. I had a few of these um, alpha tags left. They had the red borders. So I just did the same thing here. I die cut with the ATC tag die with the blue. And then the liners for these are two and an eighth by two and seven eighths. So I clipped these in when I did all my stitching. Then I used an oval stitched, a stitched oval die. And I cut a large oval for each of the large tags from the flourish paper. And then for the small tags, I used a smaller oval and I die cut from the red side. All right, then I had these old crochet doilies in my stash and I had cut the middle out of these. These were round doilies. And I had cut the small doily from the center out to use on cards, but I kept the outside doily. I glued these down with my Dries Clear Adhesive in the center of these large tags. Then I put foam tape in the center and adhesive around the edge of my flourish paper and glued those in. The last thing I did was I went through my stash of blue buttons because it's July and I wanted to go with a red, white, and blue color palette. And I pulled out these navy blue buttons and I stitched them into the center of the lace ovals all the way across. And the pattern is I did one here, then two, then two, then two, then two, then one. So that catches us up. Um, it's hard for you to watch me sew. I don't have a video camera set up for that, but you can see this is what it looks like. So you could hang it just like this and it would be really pretty, but of course we're not gonna do that. We're gonna take it to the next level. All right, I went into my eight by eight pad of Time to Flourish and I went into the sticker sheet and the chipboard sheet and I pulled out images that I thought would work well with this and I've matted these little eight by eight, these little images from the eight by eight on our smoky blue cardstock. And I've also um, added foam tape to the back. So I wanna leave room for flowers to come down around here. I'm gonna put this right here. And then I've got this cute tag that says, how does your garden grow? And I've done the same thing here. I matted this on cardstock. And we're just going to put this right here. And I'm going to come in with a little bit of my hot glue just to set that really well. 
So that's all we're going to do on this one. On this small tag, I've taken the postage stamps. And as you can see, I used my shaped scissors. I cut one around the white and one around the red. So we have contrast. And then I went into my Rene Bouquet goodies and I found this beautiful little um, laser cut piece. And it made me think of the doilies that are on the larger tags. So we're going to glue that down here. I did not do a thing to those. I left them exactly as they are. I think they're perfect just as they are. And I've got some foam tape here on my postage stamps. And I'm just going to set this right here. Then on the bottom, through our grommet, I've prepared a little dangle charm. This one is an enamel red, white, and blue heart and a sweet little bumblebee. So this is going to go, oops, through the grommet. And I'm just going to close this up and I'll come back with my pliers and pinch it. But so that's going to hang down right there. Super sweet. And we'll add some small flowers there. Then in this center tag, I took the July ledger sheet from the 8x8 and I just rolled the corners. I tore this corner to make it look old and I'm actually going to come in with just a little bit of ink. On this to age it. So I just rolled it with a paintbrush over a paintbrush handle. I'm going to put a little hot glue in there to hold that roll. I put foam tape on the back and I want to angle this in just like that. All right, then this is one of the tags from the 12 by 12. It's got these sweet strawberries. And I've hung a gardening trowel and a watering can on um, my jump rings and then just put it through here with some airmail baker's twine. And this is gonna snug up like this. And then I took this sweet little sentiment that says, how does your garden grow? And I think we'll ink this a little bit too. So I thought that was really cute with the gardening tools to go with the, how does your garden grow? And this particular month in the Time to Flourish has sort of a gardening theme. It says like everything for the gardener and all of that. So that brings us to this next small tag where I have another, this is a larger, but still small and cute. Those wonderful uh, laser cuts from Rene Bouquets. So these now look like they also have a doily. Once again, I staggered my stamps with foam tape. And then the little charm that hangs here is a sweet little ladybug and a patriotic star. And again, I'll come back and pinch that with my Okay, see how cute that is? It's really adorable. Then that brings us over here to our last pennant. And for this one, I've got the everything for the fruit growers. See the little um, gardening theme again. And we want to tip this in the opposite direction of our first pennant. And then... I found this sweet little chipboard with the strawberries on it. And I want to put this up in the corner here. This 
sweet little tag. And you can see I added a strawberry blossom and a strawberry. And then this little title that says it's summertime. Whoops. I want to go, let's see. I think I want to go right about here. So once again, I'm going to put a little hot glue down here just to catch the end of our title. Okay. So that's basically, you could leave it just like this and it would be fine. But now we're going to add ribbon. The first thing we're going to do, these are about 11 inches long, about 12 inches maybe. I'm just going to take these around each end and I want to get as close to my tag as I can. And I'm just going to let these, I'm not going to tie a knot. These are just going to hang down and it's okay if they're not even. I actually kind of like that. If that bugs you, then you make yours even. Now I'm adjusting my ribbon so that my ribbon will go the direction that I want it to go. And I'm gonna come in with my hot glue and I've tied a three and a half inch bow. And I think this is called Smoke Blue Delicate Stitch Satin, but I'll double check on that and make sure I link it properly in the uh, supply list that will be on my blog post. So that end, then we're gonna come down here to this end and do the exact same thing. So again, I'm just coming in as close to the edge of my tag as possible. And I'm just simply wrapping around and tying. It's really not even a knot, it's just a tie. All right. And then arrange my ribbon the way I want it to go so that it hangs the way I want it to hang. See how pretty that is with the red, the white, and the blue, and it's got a really great vintage color palette that works well with this collection. So there's that bow. And then the next thing we want to do is add some flowers. First thing I want to do, we're over here on the right-hand side. I'm going to put some hot glue down, and I'm going to add a little foliage sort of trailing down into our image. And I've got these really cute, um, these are from Little Birdie. They're called tulips, but I think they could be flower buds or anything. And I like to use them quite often in my arrangements. They add a little extra. So I'm just gonna cut these so that they're ready to put in. And then I have a beautiful large white flower to put here. And these are not white white, these are kind of a, an ivory color. So I'm gonna put this down here on top of our bow. And I've already lost my little doodads that I cut here. Tuck these in so that they're kind of sticking out. Right there. Then I'm going to take one of these small roses. Oh, is that what I want to do? I don't know. Let me think a minute. Yeah, let's take one of these red. These are a little birdie. I can't remember if these are called Wendy or Jessica. But either way, I like it tucked in there like that. And now I'm going to take one of these blue roses and I kind of squish it up like this to make it easy to manage. And this is going to tuck right in here. So there's our little arrangement right there. Now I want something down in this opposite corner. So You can see I've torn this. I'm going to show you how I make it still useful. I just tear it again. 
and then you can put your leaves together and you can still use them which is nice um, let me see I think I want a large white flower right here in this corner like that and then let's take hmm, I need some smaller so reds. I went into my stash and I found some smaller reds and I'm just gonna put this right here like this and then I'm gonna come in with my foliage and tuck it right in here to fill in that space and then maybe I've got these Prima Butterflies. I've had these forever. These are from, I um, oh, forget the name of the collection. It was all blue and gold and they all had like Georgia names. I'm not sure what the, Georgia Blues might have been the name of it. All right, so let's tuck him in right there. He looks really good. They're just the right shade to go with this, but you can use whatever you have in your stash. I just kind of went through my stash and pulled stuff out. Okay, so let's come over. I think I want to put one of these itty bitty roses. And just maybe one leaf up here just to kind of balance everything out okay yeah that's cute it also helps hold our um, charms in place Just going to put one of these little red flowers down right here. That's all I'm going to do there. Now I had a thought here that I that I thought would be really cute. I'm going to take a cluster of these little tinies.
like cool spring wind But I am tired Leading my lords like cool blue pine But I am hard and feeding my strength, the reason I try, though times are hard, coming, my Lord's my pillow, which I lay my head, and I will answer his back. When we sail that final shore with Jesus as the tiller, oh Lord, I want to be on that boat and bathe in love eternal. All right, guys, I think that finishes us up. I love the way this turned out. All I have to do now is clean up all these glue webs, which I don't know, and <laughs> those are just, I always end up with them. Um, and then add my O-rings to the back. I just take an O-ring and I slip it through this part of the ribbon and it holds everything nicely in place. But that is our July Banner of the Month tutorial with Graphic 45, Time to Flourish, and a little bit of Renee Bouquets and goodies from my stash. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for joining me, and go get your craft on. Bye. Oh, Lord, I want to be on that boat, bathing.